you're wondering how to request a MERS number in LendingPad, let me show you how step by step. First, log into LendingPad. In this case, we're going to use Lorraine Purchaser. Once we're in the borrower's file, we're going to check to make sure all the information has been filled out correctly in the Loan Application Info Summary screen. Here we can look at the information at a glance. We're going to make sure our information is correct for Lorraine Purchaser. If there's anything that looks amiss, we're going to click on Manage Borrowers. And then we could go in here, review the information again, and make any changes necessary. Once we're happy with the changes, we click on Save Changes. Then we're going to check the rest of the screen. We're going to check the terms and mortgage, subject property, details of transaction. If any of this information looks a mess, we can click on the appropriate edit icon. Once we do and the modal opens, we can make any changes in here that are necessary. If everything looks correct, we can click on save changes. If you need to scroll further down on the screen, and we're gonna look at critical dates. Here, we're going to need not only just an estimated closing, but the actual closing date. So I don't see my actual closing date in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the edit icon. So here, we can look at all of our dates, and if we do have a closing date or a funding date, we need that in there in order to request MERS. I can put our closing date as of today and funding date as of today for this example, and then we're gonna click on Save Changes. Once those changes are saved, you'll notice that we have confirmation on the lower right-hand side of our screen. And now we have everything ready to request our MERS number. So let's go over to our Actions tab and click it. Once we clicked on the Actions tab, let's scroll down till we get to MERS. You'll notice the send icon next to it, so let's go ahead and click on the send request. A new modal opens and you'll see MERS request. Here we have our contact information for MERS. The type of request, you have a choice of registration. The type of action, pre-closing, registration, other. I'm going to go ahead and use pre-closing. And you'll notice that there is an requirement for the MERS number, but we're generating it now, so we can leave this blank. If all the other information is correct, we get to click on Send Request. Once we do, a new, the modal closes, and we get confirmation on the lower right-hand side of our screen. We can then go over to the line for MERS, and we'll notice the green success. We can keep going to the purple view button and click on it to view the information. This will expand and now you can see that I pulled the MERS today and that the request type and action type. If we want more information, we can click on the blue arrow and that'll get us the rest of the details. And that is how you request a MERS number in LendingPad. Questions? Feel free to review the material in our support section of the site by clicking support in the top menu or reaching out to your LendingPad representative. Thank you for choosing LendingPad as your loan origination system.